Wad goals, am I right? Is your wad as big and thick as Homer's is? Imagine that you haven't seen the episode, and you clicked on this video. Then you would have no idea what I'm talking about. Gotta love innuendo. Okay, enough with the nonsense. Hello everyone, Jack here, and welcome to a review of Wad Goals, the 13th episode of the 32nd season of The Simpsons. Can you believe that it's been on for 32 years? Well, it has. So the episode is about Bart becoming a caddy at a fancy golf course, and Marge is worried that his new well-paying job is corrupting him. Since Bart is making money off of rich people by incessantly complimenting them while he caddies, Marge fears that he's become a suck-up. Yeah, the episode has a lot of innuendo and sketchiness. Just think about it. What other kind of job does one get fistfuls of cash from spending time with wealthy men? Shocking, wouldn't you say? And Homer's wad padding is an obvious double meaning for crotch padding. You see, males feel insecure if you don't think that they are big down there. So they do things like buy big cars to distract you from looking at their bulge. Yes, it is rather sad. The opening scene with Ralph hallucinating was hilarious. He thought Springfield was throwing a parade for him, but he's really just causing a major traffic jam. But it does provide an interesting segue into the main plot, with Ralph being the one who finds the golf course and brings the other kids to it, allowing Bart to become a caddy in the process, through a large green hedge of course. And the writers took an opportunity to reminisce about a popular moment that became a meme, originating from Homer Loves Flanders, where Homer disappears into a bush. But instead of escaping something, the Springfield boys used it to enter the golf course. As well, this episode is the first time that Kevin Michael Richardson voices Dr. Julius Hibbert. His performance is similar to Harry Shearer's, but his distinctive deep voice is the main difference. But he only has one line. It was a little bit of an abrupt shift, with Hibbert appearing in the last episode, which is probably why there was a press release last week. From shifting voice actors to shifting positions, Bart becomes a caddy and receives a wad full of cash for sucking up to various rich men. As I said before, Marge is upset that her little boy has become a suck-up and she tries to convince him to quit. When he doesn't, she tries to shut down the golf course. After realizing that local politicians are owned by the golf course, she goes to the one place where she can voice her grievances, the internet. Then there's this really funny moment where Marge calls her petition, quote, stop coddling those SJWs, end quote. By SJW, she means Society Juniper is Wealthy, as in the golf course. But people take the headline to mean social justice warrior because they don't read beyond the headline, and her petition gets a million signatures. I mean, a signature is a signature. As a result, the golf course is under threat of property taxes, but Bart gives the club owner an idea to evade paying taxes to make golf a religion. This scheme works out, but the club owner casts Bart aside when his mother is no longer a threat to the club, and laughs at Bart's dreams of upward mobility, saying, quote, Once a suck-up, always a suck-up, end quote. So Bart tries to get payback. The ending is way out of left field and unexpected. It just tries to entangle everything at once. But the end credits scene with Ralph is hilarious. The only question is, is it just a hallucination of his own or not? So is Wad Goals worth your time? I definitely think so. It was a humorous tale with a lot of social commentary thrown in. Though I do think that the writers were biting off more than they could chew with this one. I get that these things are all tied together. Like how the wealthy have privileges that non-wealthy people don't have because of their wealth, and they can use said wealth to manipulate the rules of society to their favor. It's just tough though to cram all of that into 20 minutes, when you also got tackling religious places which don't pay taxes, and Bart's Ark thrown in as well. No wonder we barely saw any Homer in this episode at all. But honestly, Wad Goals is probably my favorite of the season. I found it hilarious, and I'll overlook the jumbled satire because the humor delivered. Alright, that was all for now. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and let us know your thoughts about the episode in the comments section below. As always, have a wonderful day.